share your stories, and then switch up. And now we're going to talk about why it's on Joe's passion. They would go to the uh, uh, museum center. But by the second year, you say, what do you like to do? They say, I like to do yoga. I'm a mentor. I like to volunteer. I like to have all these new things. So we're starting to narrow down to the back. For the third year, a lot of you are getting valued roles, whether it's an internship or a volunteer um, placement somewhere. And then the fourth year, we narrow it down even further. Everyone picks their number one passion. Um, there's a celebratory element, so there's, whether it's a big party at the end or a production, um, there's something for celebration. Um, there are some things that leave the families back here. Okay. Uh, we talk about how we believe everyone has gifts, and we're going to tap into <laughs> Cincinnati. I get excited really about the people. I love that no day looks the same. I love that knowing when I come to work, when I leave, something wonderful has happened within that space because of uh, all the people that I interact with every single day. Um, I work with uh, dynamic people all day long. So if you can imagine 120 people being in a space and everyone offering energy and something yeah, just, just go to that place. And, and that's what I love. So um, that's what I really and truly love about Starfire. I, I, I get excited about nothing looking the same and everything being the same. I'm Bridget Vogt, and I love Starfire. Um, I enjoy people. So the thing I love most is getting to see people grow in who they are as a person. Um, and growing in their confidence and discovering who they are and then being able to take that to other people and seeing how that impacts our community and the people that they meet and how those things can grow and be bigger. Uh, my name is Sarah Buffy and I work at Starfire. Starfire is freedom, Starfire is accountability, Starfire is creativity, um, it's community. I love everything about it and uh, all jokes aside, the leadership at Starfire is what gives us the ability to create, to uh, push through barriers that systems put upon us and um, it's a radical place to work and it fires me up every day. Um, one of the most awesome things we do at Starfire are capstone projects and they are big community-based projects um, full of unpaid citizens and people who have passions and gifts and interests. They're located in people's neighborhoods um, with family and friends. Um, each year everyone gets to pick one of their number one passions and then we create a big community-wide project that supports that and gives them uh, a valued role within that in that passion. Uh, we have seen families' lives change, uh, people's lives change, communities rally around people that they didn't even know were their neighbors, were their brothers, were their sisters. Um, it is really changing the fabric of uh, Cincinnati. Hi, my name is Kathy Wedding. My son Joe is a third year uh, participant at Starfire U. Um, and um, I can't say enough about the program, but what I will say is that what I uh, thrills me uh, most about Joe being at Starfire is that that's a microcosm of what the world should be. And the day that he walked through those doors, he was treated like a person. He was treated like a person who has something to contribute. He was treated like a person whose voice matters, whose opinions matter, and whose odd quirks are just embraced. And so from that day forward, I knew that it was something different, and um, I didn't know what it was. But since I have learned uh, so many things that, that Starfire uh, has at their core, and, and their principles, and their values, and how they approach life, and I've, I've tried to make those mine, um, I have grown as a person, as a parent. Um, the most uh, awesome thing to me is that my son's life looks nothing like it used to look. And uh, now it is just full of possibility, full of vibrant life. Who knows? After uh, I, as a parent, um, experienced um, the light bulb going on, if you will, 
um, a, a new way of thinking, a new way of um, opening up to possibilities that I didn't even know were in the world for my son. Um, I realized that I transformed myself from a tired parent who just wants to set my son up to an impassioned parent that wants to get everything I can from my son. And I realized that other parents need that too. All the other parents who have been parenting a child with a disability for 25 years who are worn out need that passion to energize them and, and to make them be part of this journey along with Starfire. Uh, and we, we have some action learning groups that help them to explore their own journey and their own struggles um, and, and to think through it uh, themselves, uh, but to help partner with Starfire to, to launch their child into a, a future that is just awesome. Candace Jones Peelman and I'm from Starfire. Every day I get to hear how somebody's day went. If that's um, a person at a coffee shop who happens to be an executive at a bank and how he could work on a capstone. You just let me know if somebody loves film or if it's Joseph saying I didn't get home till midnight on Thursday because of the bike ride and I'm tired. It's just I, those are the stories that I love um, and to be able to have the opportunity to tell them with people and help them understand that those stories can be different than what's been told about them and what's been told to them I think is pretty powerful. Um, and I love the element of surprise. I love showing up somewhere with Kathleen and saying this is the event planner and people saying or not saying, just giving that look and then them seeing exactly what I'm talking about. He's going to grill today. Um, that kind of subtle mind changing I think is really powerful and it, it's awesome. I love it. My name is Tim Vogt and I work at Starfire and I have the privilege of being able to um, be a part of the leadership there. And what I think is really important for leadership these days is to help um, free people up as much as possible and eliminate things that get in the way. And that's one of the most fun things that I get to do is figure out how to give permission and let people do things that don't require permission. Um, I also think that leadership is about honoring everybody involved in the organization um, and, and, and in the, the work that we're doing. Honoring the people that come on a daily basis and try to figure out what life looks like even though they have to operate under this label that restricts them from a lot of the world. Um, figuring out how to honor families as they are um, walking alongside their family members on that journey and figuring out how to honor um, the staff and the colleagues that I work with that work so hard. Um, and then to honor the people that have gone before us, that have taken people out of institutions and got them into uh, smaller, better versions. And, and how do we honor their work by carrying that on and, and, and working with them and learning from them? Um, I just think that there's a lot of people in the world that don't get a chance to be celebrated for their contributions. And um, that's what we're trying to do, is celebrate contributions. I also think that there's a moment that happens at Starfire that is my favorite moment, and that's the moment when people find each other. When somebody who loves cheeseburgers finds somebody else who loves cheeseburgers, and somebody who loves cats finds three more people that love cats, and all they do is talk about cats. And When somebody who loves to bike ride finds people that want to go on a bike ride together, those moments when you see people come together, you, what you see is that label of disability just melts away, and that's where the most magic moment in the world happens and um, we get to see it an awful lot and we're hoping to spend a lot of time over the coming years creating even more of those.